Watch how I took this old piece of lumber and turned it into this beautiful piece of wall art. First step was to mill down this piece of wood and get it to the size that I needed. Before I headed over to the CNC machine, I took my calipers and just measured the stock thickness. I'll be using a 1 8 inch down cut bit um, to get a nice smooth cut. I recently switched to using this double sided carpet tape. It works really well. The board is milled, it's in place, now it's time to carve it. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the computer process and where I get my vector files from and how I process them. I start out in OpenStreetMaps, download an SVG. I take that, import it into Inkscape. Inkscape is a free vector editor. Between that and then importing it into Carbide Create, which is another free software, I'm able to manipulate it and design it into what I want. Um, that's the free way, it's not the easiest way, but it is effective. Here I switch to a 45 degree V-bit for the lettering. Since these letters will have epoxy poured in them, it's not a big deal that there's a little uh, fray left from the V-bit. Could have ran it again to clean it up, but I just took this razor blade and cleaned out the letters real quick. For this project, I'm using a product that I'm familiar with. It's a two to one part epoxy. For my small intricate pores, I use syringes to get into the, all the small crevices. For the letters, uh, I switched to a black epoxy. See epoxy cured, I ran it through the planer to clean up any access. This only took one pass on here because the syringe um, did such a good job. Next step is to sand, sand, and more sanding. I already had some pop poplar trim pieces in the shop, so I decided to use those for the frame. All I had to do was cut them to size. Once I got all the pieces uh, cut to size, I used my cordless nailer to attach the trim pieces. One more quick touch up sanding with orbital sander just to touch up the frame.
Now to everyone's favorite part, finishing. I'm using an oil-based finish here, one of my favorites. Um, I'll link all the supplies I used down in the description if you're interested in any of them. process and how I how I do something like this again using all free software if you enjoyed it please subscribe um, you're not going to want to miss the upcoming videos I'm really excited about them and I'll see you on the next one